Hello guys, my name is Steve and this is Phil Delves alongside me. Welcome back to another video on footy.com. We're reviewing all the shirts for the 2018, not 2018, 2019, yeah, 20 yeah. season <laughs> across Europe, all the major ones, all the Premier League ones, all the league ones, well I say the big teams really. And today we're at the Eredivisie for the uh, nearly uh, yeah. Champions League finalists. Yeah. Uh, they were so brave and so humble in defeat, uh, but this team is on everyone's lips at the moment for more than just their football. Currently, it's for their kit as well. They've launched their kit for next season, and today we're going to review that. But don't forget, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are a fan of kit culture in general, because basically, we're going to run through you through all the kits for next season. And we're going to start here with Ajax. Phil, what is your take on this kit? So I actually think this kit makes a lot of sense, because Ajax, obviously, are always going to have the same design. Uh, but what they've done, I think this season we saw their kit actually was quite... Surprisingly, it had quite a few details which were quite um, quite different. They tried, tried yeah. a little pattern in the, in the red. They had the, the straps at the top. And anyway, this kit goes back to a more traditional look, but it also has a number of interesting features, uh, which I didn't realise, I must admit at first, but things like the black detailing, which apparently... Uh, I was told it's the first time on Ajax home kit oh, really? in black. And I, See, I was, that's weird for me because I don't associate uh, that. Like, as I know, I know. And I was, I was quite surprised. I mean, I'd have to go back. It's very subtle, isn't it, I guess? Very subtle, but I like that. You know, it's a small thing. Um, the way that the cuffs and the uh, the, the neck, the collar, uh, it's a little trim of each other. Yeah, it's, it's a nice thing, uh, which some kids do, and it looks really good. And I do like the fact that we've got the three straps on the side uh, as opposed to the top, because I think on the top, um, it's a small thing, but it kind of got in the way a little bit. Whereas yeah, on the yeah. side, it lets the um, the central pattern kind of stand out. I really love the little three um, X's on the back of the collar there as well. By the way, yes, popping out in white. This looks really bold. Yeah, like, and that's I, one of their sort of symbols. I think they've used it's, it's everywhere in Amsterdam. Yeah. I was in Amsterdam yeah. in September. Great time, by the way. Go to it if you ever get a chance. <laughs> uh, in general, though, like this, I think um, I, I like how clean this kit is. Yeah, I, I think it's just very pleasing to look at. Remember, yeah, you know what it, I mean, it's it just does, yeah. aesthetically on your eyes. It's like yeah, yeah, this all makes sense in every single way. Again, I didn't realize at first, but then looking back and talking talk on Twitter. It turns out this crest is um, slightly more like a crest, the, the crest style they used to have, rather. So for a oh, few so years, they changed it. Yeah, so for a few years, they've kind of had um, like a cutout. If you, you think the black on the crest there was in white and that was what they had. Yeah. And I thought, oh, something looks different. It turns out, yeah, this this crest with the, the white back, background and the circle. Uh, small things, but I think, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to see... Um, you know, a lot of teams, and I'm going to mention Juventus again, just because yeah. they're a team who have a distinct look. <laughs> Every video they get banned is great. They're, they're basically the kind of, I guess, the, yeah, the, the They're the low bar now, aren't they? Yeah, really because, are. you know, again, and it's funny that this is an Adidas team as well, so it's clearly not just Adidas's problem, because this is an example of a shirt. They've kept the look with quite a few little I changes. Wonder if, I wonder if the Juventus thing, and sorry to change the subject a little no, bit, no, okay. if it's not an Adidas thing, I wonder if it's a club trying to push away from it thing. You, you never know, do you? you? And to be We're honest... We're always quick to blame the manufacturers, we but are, when, yeah. we see, when we see Adidas's kit here, which is just unmistakably Ajax, like it really is, it's yeah. like, it's just Ajax in a shirt, isn't it? Yep. Uh, and then you see that, you think, why would they want to get all that scorn and change it all? Indeed. And, you know, and I, think, I think you're right, there's definitely elements... Well, there has to be approval from the club anyway. Of course, so, yeah. And, and Juventus only just in case... Just just quickly on them in the you know, obviously they've rebranded recently they're clearly trying to be quite disruptive um <laughs> yeah, fantastic so term the yeah, fantastic yeah. so yeah i think you're right because I, I actually you know, good on them they're it's quite interesting because they're quite a you know i guess they're so traditional and they're so steeped in in their philosophies and the way they play um but i actually think that that you know it's quite it's actually quite refreshing in this day and age you know yes despite that a lot of people would assume that that means they'd be quite stagnant when it comes to kits. They've actually done quite a few good things yeah. and I really like that about them. This is a very nice kit, I think. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's an all-time classic, but it's just, it's fresh, kind of modern looking, it's clean, it's nice, uh, it's aesthetically pleasing, it's all very geometrical. It kind of suits Ajax's young team, really. Mm -hmm. Ajax, as we're about mm -hmm. to record this, are about to be champions, like 14 plus goal difference for three points ahead. So they're going to yep. be champions of the Eredivisie. And it's obviously a team that's really captured everyone's imagination with the likes of uh, De Ligt, uh, Frankie de Jong, uh, Dusan Tadic being absolutely incredible. All of them, they've all been absolutely fantastic. Um, yep. It's just a shame that this 
uh, this shirt won't be worn next season as Champions League finalists because they I feel like I'm not saying they deserved it more than Spurs but you know what I mean it would have been nice wouldn't oh, it because this story. team will be pulled to pieces now over the summer sadly yeah. all the stars will actually leave um, but it's nice to see that they're going to wear a shirt next season that um that it'll, it'll be, I think it'll be fondly remembered even be. then because it's a very nice shirt uh, anything you'd improve on this? yeah I think the only things would be small details like I still it still confuses me why patterns or details on the cuffs don't go around the full circumference and it I feel like you know yeah I like to see it do that basically I think that's, that's a preference that's... weirdly I don't I always agree with this it doesn't bother me as much as it does yeah. I don't know why I think it's because it's quite um, the three colours are so bold in this one yeah, too. Yeah, I a bit I, more attention. I can't that. say I sort of actively. It, it doesn't really care about anything. That's yeah. that's you know. It's a preference. Yeah, these are the preference things. And I think the other the only other thing would be, and again, this is out of their control, but um, you know, I don't think the sponsor. What I would like to see, and I know this is a, a big ask, but I used to love when I had the sponsor that went. It was a sort of vertical sponsor that went down from the crest and there was something about that which was just yeah. really great and again we're getting this is that, completely out of their control I'd I think that sponsor actually looks alright in, yeah. in the oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not clean. amazing but yeah. like um, yeah. it does look okay you know because they've obviously yeah. fit in it quite nicely into that block of red there yeah. um, right this is the bit where I review the shirt and give it a score now we've been given every shirt uh, that we've scored uh, reviewed so far a score currently at the top we've got Crystal Palace's home kit tied with Liverpool's goalkeeper kit this is our first area of Izzy kit mm. uh, we've got Chelsea with 83 we've got Juventus kind of propping up the table down with 31 then we've got like some Rangers yeah. Corinthians Leicester in the 70s these are all on our channel by the way so you watch watch those reviews go for it on, uh, on 40.com's YouTube channel but this one Phil where are you going? I think it's really good and it reminded me a lot of our conversation about Crystal Palace you know similar things yeah. in terms of talking about it's very much of the team with enough variation to make it interesting and actually, maybe not enough to make it a classic not, not enough to be a classic and actually when I look at this and I think no this is definitely this is definitely better than Liverpool and Chelsea's home kits and they got in the oh. 80s so I think this is I'm going to say 86. I did not expect this. We've got a new yeah. winner at the moment. Yeah, 86 I'm, for Ajax's wonder kids. Well, not just well, them, yeah. really, but you know, in general. <laughs> What's left um, of them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a, has a high score. Yeah. Um, do you know what? It's the kind, I, I can get behind that because it's the kind of kit that I would wear personally. I think it's just clean. It's really cool. Um, it's a kit that looks great for one of the players. It's just very nice. Um, just a lovely little shirt, really, isn't it? It is. Guys, let us know in the comments if you think we're very right or very wrong about this shirt. Don't forget... This is the home of Football Shirt Reviews on YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are a fan of this kind of stuff. And you just want to see two honest fans talk about football shirts in general. My name is Stephen. This is Phil Delves alongside me. Go watch all the other videos of our shirt reviews and I'll see you soon.